you know, this is the most beautiful sight I've seen all day. If you remember, back in November, I covered it, and I think a lot of other Bengals channels covered it as well. Jamar Chase wanted to recreate Chad Oshosenko's iconic TV camera touchdown. To a point that Chad said himself that he would cover any fine that Jamar Chase got if he got fined for this. Because Chase even came out and said, hey, I'm going to get fined for this. Are you going to cover the fine? And Chad said, yeah, I'll cover the fine. Sadly, we were never able to see this. We played the pursuing game versus the Buffalo Bills. And the Bills went absolutely crazy double, triple, quadrupling him the whole entire game. And then pursuing that game, obviously Chase got hurt and the rest is history. Nonetheless, though, we finally got to see the touchdown celebration. And it's not an actual game, which is sad, but it was the Pro Bowl. And I'm sure next year we're going to see the celebration in action when, ja when um, Chase does catch a touchdown. But here is the iconic play. And as you can see, they let him do the cameraman operator right here, which is move the camera over and point it right at the play. And again, like I said, I can't wait to see this actually in action in the game when he does score a touchdown. But man, we were robbed. We were robbed of this beautiful moment. I can just imagine... How the other players would react. Especially if it was, if he would have scored versus Buffalo, man. That would have, it would have been just a bittersweet moment. It would have been a bittersweet moment if he would have scored versus Buffalo. Because even this, I mean, I like it. And obviously it's cool, right? But, I don't know. It, it's the idea that you're taking over the camera. Right? Because this one, obviously, they're letting him do it. He's sh sh The guy's showing him, like, okay, you look into this area. You move it over here. That's how you do it. With Chad, it's just a spontaneous moment of he just went and did it. Right? No one knew what to expect. No one knew what was happening. Like, what is he doing? This is not normal. So, that's what I will say about the recreation here in the Pro Bowl. It's the Pro Bowl, too. No one really cares. It's not a big deal. It's not really crazy. But, oh, man. See, what he has to do, and the only way this could be great, is he has to do it sometime next season. But don't do it on the first touchdown. They'll do it on the first, second, third, fourth. Do it on a random touchdown in the middle of the year. Right? So everyone starts to forget about it, right? Everyone's like, okay, well, yeah, yeah, he said last year he'd do a touchdown celebration. People forget about it. It goes over their head. They think about other things. They think about the season. They think about this. And then he has to do it. The only way this can work is if he does it in the most random occasion possible, doesn't tell the media, doesn't tell his even his own fan, uh, players or coach or anything, and just does it randomly. That's the best way he can do go about this. Because, well, yes, again, it's cool for him doing the Pro Bowl. It's the aspect of it needs to be spontaneous. Now, in the Pro Bowl, if he would have went over there and grabbed the camera himself. And, like, you know, the operator wasn't there and he did it himself. That, I feel like, would have been a cool concept size idea. And also, I don't think in this moment he scored a touchdown in the Pro Bowl when he did this. So, again, it's just like... Everything has to line up correctly for this to happen, man. So, Chase, all I gotta say is if you do it next year, when you finally do this, right? I'm gonna need you to do it when... We don't expect it, okay? I don't want to go into a game expecting that touchdown because that's really why the Buffalo Bills game went the way we did. We won the game in the end, but in that game, if Chase never said anything to the media or about the, you know, the touchdown celebration, I'm sure they would have doubled, uh, you know, single doubled him the whole entire game, but it was that extra motivation for Buffalo saying, listen... We're not going to be the team that he does the Chad Johnson celebration on. That was like a motivating factor for them throughout that whole entire game. And I feel like if he, does, if he doesn't say it out loud or he doesn't come out and say, talk about it, they probably don't focus as much on him. They just didn't want to be the team that allowed him to do that on them. So that caused more motivation. We don't need to give any team next year motivation. So again, like I said, random 
out of nowhere. He scores a touchdown. We might all forget about it. And then it's just, bam. Jamar Chase grabbing the camera, pointing it at the field. And then we could do that. Although I will say that Bill's game, uh, T. Higgins went absolutely freaking off. But that was also the game after, after that T. Higgins got hurt. And was hurt for a little bit of time. So, this season was so much ups and downs, peaks and valleys. It was such an insane season. And I know next year is going to be insane. And knock on wood, don't have any injuries here. And we can actually stay healthy the whole entire season with Joe, with T, with Chase, with everyone. Man, we got to we got to finish next season. Finish next season with what we started. What we started back against the Rams in the Super Bowl the first time. We got to get a Super Bowl to the Queen City, man, because at this point we're so damn close. We're so damn close and we have a team to get this job done. Tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, guys. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.